EMAP-PA is an interactive mapping application developed by DEP that contains a wealth of data on regulated facilities and environmental information. The Bureau of Clean Water Division of Water Quality maintains or uses a portion of this data. This video will instruct you how to locate water resource information and water chemistry data. There are several parts to EMAP-PA located in the panes on the left-hand side of the map. The first tab is the Layers tab. This contains map layers that can be turned on and off by checking the box next to each title. Note that the map has to be zoomed into a close-up extent to view many of these layers. This can be done by clicking the minus and plus in the lower right-hand corner of the map to zoom to your desired extent or by clicking the plus and minus magnifying glass to zoom in. To use this, you simply draw a box where you would like to zoom. The main section encompassing water data is under the regulated facilities and related information. Click the plus next to this title. Next, click the box next to sample information system. This section contains water chemistry monitoring data that can be explored and downloaded. Use the identify tool to select one of the sample or monitoring points to get basic information. Results can be downloaded by clicking on the button at the top left of the results screen. Moving to the next section, click the plus next to streams and water resources. There are several subsections within this section that pertain to water resources. The NHD HUC or Hydrologic Unit Code section contains layers that identify all streams, water bodies or lakes, and watersheds in the state. Check the box by any layer to turn them on. Click the box again to turn off the layers. The next section, Water Monitoring, contains layers of the Water Quality Network or WQN. This is a network of stream and lake sites at which w routine water samples are collected. In addition, there are groundwater station layers, a USGS stream gauge layer, and a macroinvertebrate sample layer under DEP assessment stations. Note that these layers only contain basic information when, I when identified using the identify tool. There is also a separate macroinvertebrate viewer located on the Bureau of Clean Water webpage that contains macroinvertebrate sample information as well as results, seen here as the stream MI symbol. The next section down, water quality, contains a lot of information. The first section, when expanded, shows the 2014 integrated report. This contains data related to the Clean Water Act Section 303D listing and Section 305B reporting submitted to EPA by DEP every two years. This covers the status of Pennsylvania's waters. Note that the data here is from 2014. The current Clean Water Act reporting information is located in the next two sections, attaining stream assessments and non-attaining stream assessments. TMDL streams indicate the streams covered by a total maximum daily load of specific pollutants. The next four sections show the existing and designated use of streams. The next five sections highlight the same things for lakes. General layers that display county boundaries, municipalities, and other similar geographic areas are in the Boundaries section. The next tab at the top, Legend, shows what layers are active at any given time. If you turn on or off layers in the Layers tab, 
the Legend tab will update accordingly. The next tab is the Tasks tab. This offers options to interact with the layers. Buffer a layer will allow you to create an area around any point line or polygon layer at a set distance from the layer features. Buffer sensitive layer does the same thing, but on layers containing sensitive information, groundwater wells, sewage discharge, sewage treatment plant, or surface water intakes. Data is currently available for use on the Pennsylvania DEP Open Data website or the Pennsylvania Spatial Data Access or PASDA website. This is described under the Extract Data section. Locate allows you to input an address, county, latitude, longitude, municipality, or zip code and zoom directly to that location on the map. Measurement allows you to draw an area, distance, or mark a point and will return a polygon, line, or latitude longitude of what you marked. For example, I can choose distance in miles and draw a line, which will be tallied in the measurement box. There is also a print option to create a PDF of your map. There are also various search options for the map. The most useful for water data will be the Advanced Query tab, located at the top of the map. Here you can choose any layer, for example, designated use streams. And search under a field in that layer. For example, GNIS name, which is the stream name, and search for a particular feature you know is in the layer. If you click the arrow to the right of the Tasks tab, or expand the tab box, you will see the Links tab. This contains more information about navigating the map and other instructions. Thank you for your interest in water information contained in EMAP PA.